all store a lot of really important stuff on a PC or Mac, right? Be it personal files or work files, and I personally store a lot of photos, videos, project files and documents on my MacBook. So imagine a situation like this. You're trying to clear out some space because, let's be honest, storage is always running low, and then you accidentally delete something you didn't mean to. What's worse, while thinking about it, you then click the empty trash button as well, and there, it's all gone. But don't worry, because in this video I'll be showing you three different ways you can get those files back. First off, I recommend that you guys try the 4D Dig Mac Recovery software. It is a fantastic piece of software that will allow you to find and recover any deleted files in this way. The link to it is going to be down in the video description below, so let's try it out. Open up the 40DIG Mac software after you install it, select the trash location and click scan. Now you can choose what kind of files you want to recover, so here I would choose videos, photos and documents. You're free to choose other files when you finish your choice, so click the scan all files option there. 40DIG Mac will begin the scan for files and this process can last a while depending on the file size. Once the scan process is completed, you should be able to see all deleted files right there in the menu like this. Now check all the files you want to recover and then click on the recover option. Choose a folder to save these files to and click open. The recovery process will then begin and this again can take some time so do be patient. And once it's done, you should be able to go to the folder and there it is. All your recovered files be it photos, videos and documents are all back. It's really, really effective. Now another great thing about MacBooks is that I have a built-in file recovery system with Time Machine. Now in order to use Time Machine you must enable it beforehand. If you used it before you should be able to retrieve your files from there. But if you haven't you need to first turn on the backup automatically option in Time Machine. For that you need an external drive of some sort or just some spare space on the main drive inside your Mac device. And when it is working it will be backing up your files on an hourly basis. Then simply go into the Time Machine app, choose the folder or trash bin where your deleted files are, browse and find the files you want, choose them and then click on the restore option to get them back. Now if you haven't turned on Time Machine before, don't worry there's still one more solution left for you and that is iCloud. If you have used Apple's cloud service before, simply go into iCloud.com and under the drive section you can find deleted files here. Click on the ones you need and download them to your device. Or you can scroll to this button, get into the data recovery section, click one of the restore options and it will start to search for recoverable files. So if you used iCloud to backup before, you should see the files here. However, there's also several ways in which this could fail. For example, maybe iCloud didn't have time to do a full backup before you deleted those files. Or maybe you ran out of space on your iCloud and a full backup couldn't be completed. In that case, don't worry, because 4DDIG is still an excellent option that you can use instead to still get those files back. Now then, at the end of the day, one of the biggest issues that many Mac owners face is the storage, which may lead people to have very poor backup options, because storage, especially on MacBooks, is so expensive. For example, if you want to upgrade from 512GB to 1TB, that's going to cost you an extra $200. Or if you want to go from 1TB to 2TB, that's going to cost you $600 more. So at the end of the day, if you want a good backup option, getting a good third party drive from sites like Amazon will be your best bet. You can get for example a 5TB Western Digital hard drive or hard drives from other companies for $110 or so. Those are fantastic options to help keep your files secure via time machine or other similar options. Either way, I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you recovered whatever files you may have lost. If you want more tips on how to get the most out of your Mac and how to use some weird tools in my have to offer, make sure to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.